Hello world, welcome back to Wandering Back to Europe. It's me, Mr. Spaceman, and today we start with Eddie Brown on his page. So this guy, I remember maybe it was one or two episodes ago, I mean there were so many, like two. <laughs> but yeah, a few episodes ago, this guy kept, kicked up a fuss and he wanted to leave because, I don't know, someone bid 90k for him, which apparently is a big thing, but you know, I mean I'd, I'd take 90k, you know. But I guess I didn't really go through, so... This guy decided to stay with us, and, you know, I inc I extended his deal, I triggered an extension, which was great, and look at he repaid me. He scored his first senior goal for the club. That was amazing. I was really happy. He's quite a good player. I've actually, you know, I've, I've, I've decided to look up my players on Barnet, my Barnet save, and a few of them are actually pretty decent. Like, if you go back to my squad real quick. So, obviously, like I said, Politic played well. Um, Josh Emanuel played well, obviously. Then actually we had Keen Lewis Potter. He's actually playing for Celtic, so that's great. Uh, Eddie Brown is left to go to Brazil for like ten million. So you know maybe maybe he'll do the same for me because if that happens, ooh, that'll be good money for me. But yeah, so since you were last here, we actually played a few games, and like I said, it was either between Rochdale and Bristol. And since, as you can see, Bristol is sixth and Rochdale is fifteenth, I was thinking we play this game because this game will be more. I guess important for our position in the league. So since the Sunderland game, we actually played a few games and man, the first game I definitely should have shown that, but you know, hindsight. It was a 3-3 loss, well, I guess 3-3 loss on penalties to Barnsley and wow, what a game. Let's just show the highlights real quick. Yeah, so it was a pretty decent game. I think we did okay, we got back into it. So we, we scored the first goal, then we conceded, and then conceded three, actually. But then we got back into it. And I was like, wow, this is a great team I'm having. You know, they're capable of, you know, shifting, I guess, uh, I guess moving a big, big loss. And I'm great. I'm grateful for the fact that, you know, they are professional and determined enough to do that. But I also did not like the collapse at the start of the game. At the start of the game, in the second, the second half, which was very annoying. It was very, very frustrating. But that... <laughs> But like they say, that's not all. Uh, it was all good getting a 3-3 draw. But then we lost some penalties, 4-5. Which is annoying. But again, you know, I, I wanted to go far. I wanted to do very well with this team to get some more money. But what can you do, you know? Barnsley, I'm pretty sure they're in the league above, even though they're not doing too great. But then again, so are we. And look at Dudu. What a great goal by Dudu. And yeah, I'm not going to show you this because this is just going to break my heart. But yeah, decent performances from the team. I'm happy. Well, the next game, not happy. But this game, happy. So Portsmouth, I didn't know what happened really. I was kind of going into it thinking, you know, it'll be a good game. You know, I can take them. I can show off my skills. Nope. 4-1. No chance whatsoever. Harry Brockba Brockbank, my center back, who's deciding to score for no reason whatsoever. So that's great. He's scoring a lot. I went to Blackpool, a simple win on the 19th minute, simple. We dominated it, we should have scored more, but Dudu finally scored in the 19th minute, which was great. We do deserve more points than we currently have, but, you know, I'll take any win in any matter they come. We had a really good game against Leicester as well, under 23s. Like, I know they're under 23s, but when you look at their team... Let me go back to the game. When you look at their team, and I'll do it because... So you see they had Ihinacho, they had, I swear they had more people. Oh, okay, so well they had Ihinacho and then we managed to stop him. So this is a Premier League player. And obviously even their under 23s, like a lot of them could be in our squad. But you know, I was kind of hoping to show like, you know, Vardy, um, <laughs> Schmeichel, but no, like, it's obviously under 23 squad, except for him, I don't know why he's there. But, you know, it was a great game. So I'll stop moving the mouse because it's making me dizzy <laughs> and probably making you dizzy. But, you know, it was 3-2, it was and we scored three goals. First half, kind of dominated, outplayed them. I got too cocky. I started bringing in some subs to let my players rest and just have more game time. And that was a mistake because, as you can see, 65 and 68 minute, they brought about the 3-2. And this was one of the first times where I just went, nope, park the bus. I can't do this. We need to win. Because, you know, we're doing pretty well in this competition. We're currently, well, we need, well. Okay, that point made no sense. Let me rephrase. We needed this win because we lost the first one. This tournament may not be important, but for a team such as ours with absolutely no money, I will take anything. 
And, you know, if I can win this as well, it'd be kind of cool for my trophy case. But, you know, if if it means rotating my squad because I need rest to survive the league, I might have to do that. But like I said, it's nice enough that we can win. And the final game was the Burton game. That was pretty easy. No worries whatsoever. Two quick goals from Ali. Oh, Ali, by the way, he scored his first goal, which I was surprised about. Daryl Murphy getting the second. And Eddie Brown. Look at that. The young kid, like I showed you at the start. Got a goal in the 41st minute. And then it was a quiet game afterwards, but I'm I'm happy. You know, was, I'd rather have games where we simply dominate and I can just sit back and relax in my lounge chair. You know, enjoy the game. But yeah, let's look at our table. What? We're out of the bottom? Wow, this manager must be amazing. You know, now nah, I'm just going to stop kissing my own butt. We're doing really well. If you look at the points, we have 9 points, right? Add 12 points that were deducted. 21 look where we should be we should be promotion rivals so i think this is why i wanted to play bristol actually but you know let's take rochdale because it's important small steps you know i don't want to be like oh yeah let's take on the best of the best you know no no no. small steps like i said mid table i'll be happy this year actually no, i'll be happy if the club survives this year so you know what are we waiting for let's get into it rochdale what do i know about them not much not really not much so I guess, uh, let's see where the next game's at. It's against Bristol, yeah, in a few days. So you know what? I'm going to play my full squad here and potentially rest against them because I need to have a bigger chance winning against the weaker team. I'm thinking, bring Murphy and This is the guy that I've been trying to play a bit more. It's just so, you know, people notice him and he can leave, like, honestly. I'm really sorry if, you know, Luke Murphy ever watches this, but maybe he's good in real life. But, you know, for 9k and not the best defensive midfielder, I do not know what anyone was thinking. Eddie Brown suspended. Great. I have absolutely no one on the left. Lewis Potter might have to play there. Wow. Mm, you know what? Adam Sr. has been surprisingly a good center back. So I'll keep him here. Sonny Graham. Mm, he's a good kid. He's developing quite well. He's a really good kid. I need to play him a bit more. But, you know, I won't risk him. I think I'll stick with this. Yeah, I'll stick with this. Okay. So, this guy will get tired really quickly, so I might have to... You know what? Bring Darcy. He's learning to play there anyway, so let's get into it. Good game, good game against Rochdale. Hopefully, we can win. And hopefully, that can send us higher in the league. Oh, yeah. This this is actually pretty exciting, but I'm just worried that I'm going to get super excited that I'm going to get sacked because the club has no money whatsoever. But, you know, and I realized, even if I get rid of... Luke Murphy for, what was it, get rid of his 9k thing. It's only going to save me, you know, what, 25,000 a month? Wait, 28,000 a month? Wow. Sorry, I don't know if you heard, but it was very, very, very loud. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Daryl Murphy, third minute. That's way too quick. I just, sorry, I was just looking what the hell caused this, such a loud, uh, shaking noise and i think it's just buses passing through and we score pretty early on hey this is the opposite of my england stuff but yeah so hopefully this comes out on wednesday i'll try and make sure it does so that means tomorrow at 6 p.m there'll be my weekly episode of game side chat where i talk with mano benevis so i hope you stay tuned and watch that because it's a cool video where we talk about a bunch of stuff sorry i'm just trying to you know plug all sorts of stuff and get people interested in all sorts of Things, I guess, and not just football manager. Football manager's for me, but all the other stuff is also, I guess, for a greater good. Because I'm trying to get people to listen to other opinions in the sport. And, you know, it's a, it's a really good sport. Like, don't mind the name. It's a really great sport with a great save from Matthews. See? That was cool. That was cool indeed. And also, I just realized. I don't know what I just realized. But I think 9 times 4 is not 26 or whatever I said. So, Yeah. 36. I think this is why. <laughs> I don't know. This is why. You, this is why universities are. Um, this is what gets you from a master's aerospace. You don't know how to multiply stuff. Oh god, horrible. Yeah. So we're playing pretty well. Nothing much happening. But you know, like I said, I'd rather have nothing much happen, but we win rather than a lot of things happening and we lose. So that makes sense, right? The great play from Darcy to Dudu. Oh wow! What great interplay. <laughs> Ron Darcy's just like, oh, thanks boss for playing me. Let me just, you know, pay you back instantly. Wow, let's just show that again. 
So Hamilton plays it to Darcy. Darcy passes it to... No, oh yeah, Dudu. Wow, I forgot his name is Darcy. And wow, over the top. Dink with a great finish from Dudu from right wing. Well, I guess it doesn't matter where you play him. He's going to score your goals. You know, for next episode, I'm actually going to... Ooh, editing Timor. Check, please, how many goals he scored in this season. Because that'll be a cool thing to consider. So, second half. The first half finished. 2-0. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy with this performance. 2-0. Wow. Um, What am I thinking? Hamilton's playing well, but with the way they're playing, I'm thinking to bring Sonny on. Have a little bit of a run-up for this guy. You know, the more game time he has, the better he becomes. And I guess for next episode, I will look him up in my save to see what happened with him in my Barnet save. So again, watch watch that if you want. Which you will probably see. 56 minute. Maybe you'll see a thing in the top right, top left, whatever. I'm not really sure how this happens. And we still got Darcy. Ooh, I was going to just say that he probably scored that one. But, you know. Crawford crosses it in. And Murphy headers it. You know, for... Let me just pause the game real quick. And so I don't make mistakes. Yeah, this 36-year-old man is pretty well. I am pretty sure that I've never had, you know... Uh, I guess a player of his age in my team. Because I typically try to get rid of them. Or they don't play as much in the first team. So basically, he's a first for me. And I'm impressed. He's been playing really well. He's been leading the line quite well. He's been scoring when needed to. And, you know, gives Dudu a chance to rest. So that's great. But yeah. So, good game so far. Yeah, let's make sure that that just doesn't happen. So we need to... Nah, it's fine. Let's just keep it in 69th minute. Nothing much happening. Nothing much happening. This is good. This is good stuff. Good defending from the team. We might have to see and switch out Senior for Emmanuel. Just so. A bit of fresh legs. And bring... Oh, should I keep Nsiala on? No, I'll bring Brock back on. Like I said, I'd rather play younger players than older players in this team. Because, you know, I feel like all my good players will leave at some point. And, you know, I need to, get, I need to make sure the youngsters are good enough. But yeah, looks like this might be, please don't say anything. If I was going to say something, let me hope I didn't jinx it. With a great tackle from Lau, or he just kind of like, just took it. Didn't seem like anything. Graham passes it to Darcy. Darcy's been playing amazing. Burns back, past his right back. Uh, crosses and hits him. So he didn't really burn past. With Williams on the ball. Passing it to Henderson. Henderson running through my defense like a hot knife through butter. Ooh, Brockback is almost bringing him down. He's determined to bring him down. And he should have brought him down because Peter Guargas just scored. Oh no, squeaky bum time. Let us play very defensive because we don't want to lose points this late on. Yeah, park the bus. It's just two minutes, guys. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Um, An unnecessary conceded goal. And I feel like, I don't know if that's just something to do with lower leagues, but... It, Oh, that could be... No, it's not lower leagues. I was going to say it happens with Barnet as well. But that is probably because... How do they not like the fact that I'm... I'm happy with the performance? They played well. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so it's probably just because I play really high up and I also play... Um, what is it? Oh, offsides? So maybe that thing. But yeah. I'm happy. Like I said, 2-1. I think for now, I don't have... I don't have the luxury of being like, oh, yes, we need to play good football. Yeah, obviously, I'm trying to play good football. But, you know, we need to be able to actually win. We don't want to get relegated, right? So, for now, just any points I can get, I'll be happy. So, I think we moved up by one. Yeah, we were 20th when we started. Bolton moved up by one. Technically on 24 points, so we are 5th. But we're not, so we're 19th. I mean, at this rate, we're slowly starting to pull away, and I'm happy with the way we're playing. So, this will be, yeah, so this will be a perfect way for me to, I guess, pick the next schedule for the next game. Um, oh yeah, so I don't know, I just wanted to see if I'm going to be testing out two different mics at the same time. And why are you so shouty? Huh? Sorry, buses keep passing and it kind of kills the mic because it just jumps 
I don't even know. But yeah, I think this is a perfect segue for me to move into the schedules. We will see where we're going to see you next time. So like I said, I'm going to try and do it once a week. Once a week. I'm going to try and do it once a month, you know, just so we have a little bit of time to, you know, go through the games. And, you know, actually we have some progression. But I guess, yeah, you know what, let's just see. So we'll play Bristol Rovers and Lincoln definitely offline. Fleetwood, 11th. Um, I hate this. Ooh, FA First Cup. No, that should be fine. MK Dons, 12th. Accrington Stanley, 20th. So I think that's the game we'll play. Yeah. So what we're going to do, at least for now... Oh, yeah, there are, there are definitely rails. Okay, so our game next time, which, fingers crossed, should be either... I don't know when. Not going to lie, I don't know when. I'm going to try and stick with Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Because, obviously, Thursday will be my game side chat time. And Sundays, I might leave that for a second episode of Game Side Chat if it's a very long interview. Or I'm going to try and make sure that I'm going to release another game than Food Manager. I just want to, you know, I just want to have fun and enjoy stuff. So, so yeah. So, Accrington Stanley will be the next game. Hopefully, this will be on Friday. So, I have to play a few games to get through that. And yeah, hopefully next time you see me, I will be in a much better position and much safer than now. So, anyways, I do appreciate the people that do watch my content. You know, it's fun for me, and if it's fun for you, that's just great, you know, I don't want to be doing this, you know, just, this is this shouldn't be a thing where I'm, you know, people are bored watching it, I'm having fun doing it, and I just like to hope just a little bit that people might find this interesting, you know, but anyways, so thank you very much for watching, I will see you in the next episode, where we take on, where we take on Accrington Stanley, that's this team, this has been Mr. Spaceman, I'm gonna go, and play Don't Start With My Girlfriend. I'm out. <laughs>